Zach. I'm John. With A and Z World. We're here to tell you about zip seed extractors. We got the Gen 1 faucet extractor and the Gen 2 valve extractor. Now we got Zaley, our investigative reporter, out in the field getting these into the hands of some local plumbers. Take it away, Zaley. Hi, I'm Zaley with the Zipsy Extractor team. We're here at KJ Plumbing to talk with some local plumbers about their experiences with the Simmons shower valve. Let's see what they have to say. So have you ever repaired a Simmons shower valve? Yes, I have, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, often, you've done that a lot? Yep. Yes, I've been plumbing for years. And when you were repairing it, did you come across any challenges? Yes, the, uh, the seats are very tough to get out. Yeah, typically the biggest challenge is if the seat strip in the back, it's pretty much all over after that. Yes, mostly the back seat. The front seat's not as bad because you got a little bit of area to grip it to, but the back only has those little spots, the little uh, spots to grab onto. Never really can get it out. Sometimes when you take off the spindle, the seats inside are very difficult to get out because mm -hmm. they corrode and fuse over time. That's the hardest part. How often would you say that happens that you come across that challenge? I'd say 50%. Once the seat is stripped, the tools that are available, uh, they don't allow you to get stripped seats out? Yeah. Uh, sometimes the tool itself will strip the brass. I mean, it's every once in a while you'll get something that might work, but nine and a half out of 10 times, you're ripping that valve out. Yeah, it's very hard. You gotta bang. When you bang, you, you, you're trying to push, and you almost need two guys, but then it, it doesn't work. Has there ever been a time that you were unable to remove the seats? Yes. Yes. Multiple times. Probably eight out of 10. Oh yeah, often, often, often. Okay. Yeah, and then when that happens, you have to replace the full valve. And it takes hours, and some people aren't expecting uh, to pay that much because they go, oh, it's just a drip. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna cost much. All you gotta do is do a faucet washer. You know, and this is what happens. It's, it's expensive for these people. And once you replace the valve, would you typically be replacing it with another Simmons valve? No, typically you put it in a fuller valve. Whatever the customer wants. So maybe. And maybe if it were not. up to you? So up to me. Would you replace it with another Simmons valve? Yeah, I'd rather a Kohler valve. Okay, why would you put in a Kohler valve over a Simmons valve? It's easier to work on in the future. It's easy to install. Uh, Just preference. I like color parts, they're easy to replace and stuff like that. Just the ease of replacement. So if the seats were an issue uh, with the Simmons valves and maybe they were a little easier to replace, would you consider replacing it with the Simmons valve? I probably would. Okay. Yeah, I think so. And I think I wouldn't have to rip out as many valves because I'd be able to replace the seats if they were easier. If the seats weren't an issue, typically I wouldn't be replacing the valve at all because I'd make it fix. That's too easy. Well, no resistance on that. The same one goes in. So easy. I love it. Wow. Very useful. Oui. Thank you.
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't think we'll be replacing the valve because we have this on our truck. Well, that was great. Wow, it really was. Those guys just, they're used to doing it the old way. They don't have any other tools. And this is a paradigm shift. It is, Zach. It really simplifies. Well, thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Zaley, for bringing it to us. And we'll see you on the next one. First time, take a picture of that. Get a video of the valve, how calcified it is. Right out. Where has this been my whole life?